All right, welcome. Thanks for checking out this Sudoku strategy video from sudokustrategies.org. Now, the first tip I'll give you is just write out one through nine at the top of every puzzle. It helps you remember what you've done, what's been crossed out and completed. And uh, I always start at one and I go all the way through to the nines and then I sort of circle back again. So let's just go ahead and get right into it and start with number one here. So looking at the number one, I can see right away that this row here, we know where the one goes. It can't go here, here, and it can't go here, here. Why? Because this box contains a one there, so nothing else in here can be a one. And this box contains a one here, so nothing here can be a one. So what does that mean? It means in this row there's only one other place left to put it. And yep, that's right there. And then continuing with the ones, we'll just go ahead and go over here to the left box, and you can see that the one can't be here because the one is already in this row and the one can't be here because of that which leaves us one spot so there we go simple quick easy ah and check this out in this box in this square excuse me we already know what it is can you see that well every other number except the one in question is touching this box. Let me show you what I mean. There's a 1 touching it, there's a 2 touching it, 3 touching it, there's a 4, a 6, a 7, an 8, and a 9. All intersect with that. So what does that leave us? It leaves us with a 5. Every now and then you'll get a little, a little opportunity like that to just say ah and pick that off nice and easy. So there you have it. couple tips for you. Any other questions, check out www.sudokustrategies.org. Cheers.